Hi, just before we get into today's video, I want to put a quick disclaimer to say that I do not in any way, shape or form support the views, beliefs of a certain JK Rowling. I managed to get these DVDs from my auntie and I've just transferred them over to my Mac, so obviously I can use them for this. So there's no money gone into purchasing the movies. I'm also gonna be putting a bunch of links to resources and websites and stuff looking into trans and just general LGBTQIA plus rights and organizations and such. So yeah, check those out. They'll be in the description also. Hi. Hi. I've dressed cozy today and I can't remember the last time I wore a jumper. So I try to, I, I do try and stunt on the hose, but sometimes I don't want to. Oh, I meant to make a cup of tea. I'll be back with a cup of tea. <laughs> Hello, I have got a cup of tea, it's just cooling down a tad. Um, we're watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is gonna be a really long intro, a uh, really short intro because this is a really long fucking movie, okay? I've got some pretzels, <coughs> I'm a bit ill, <coughs> and we're gonna watch, okay? Um, thanks for the love on the first one. I'm sorry this one's taken a while, but um, there's been things that I needed to get done before. Um, and I mean, these can just be something that we can continue until we're finished. Right, there's no pressure. Well, I mean, there's pressure from you guys, but I don't feel it, okay? Um, that's a lie. But with all that said, um, check me out on Instagram. It'll be up on the screen there. Check me out on Spotify, Twitter, Patreon, Discord, all linked down below. Thanks to my pre-existing patrons. Thanks for being over there. Thanks for on the channel. It really does mean the world. Uh, the unedited version of this will be up on Patreon, no doubt, before you see it on YouTube. So, if you want to watch the full movie with me, and we can have a, like, a little movie night, check out the Patreon. Let's go! Come on, Harry Potter, let's fucking do this. Now, I have been told by my friend that the, the first and the second one were filmed very close together, I believe. And then there's like a good jump for the third. So I'm excited. Hi. Why was the fucking something stabby in my jumper? This is the first time I've worn this bastard. Well. Hi, Harry. Oh, we're looking through that book, are we? How lovely. I can't let you out, Hedwig. I'm not allowed to use magic outside of school. If Uncle Vernon... Harry Potter! Oh, do we have to? Do we have to see the uncle and the auntie again? Because fuck them. Fuck them. Who's in there? Vernon? That bitch was in fucking Anilla Holmes. Didn't like her in that either. If you can't control that bloody bird, it'll have to go. But she's bored. Bored in the house, and it has bored. I haven't had any messages from any of my friends. I wonder if they're in intercepting them. Who'd want to be friends with you? I should think you'd be. Able you know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't come for a child. I really shouldn't. Inner peace. Inner. Peace. Inner in. 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 Not now, Popkins, but when the Masons arrive. Which should be any minute. Dudley, you will be... I'll be waiting to open the door. I'll be waiting to open the door. I'll be in my bedroom, making no noise and pretending that I don't exist. Oh my god. Too right you will. I will have to do something intrinsically evil. With any luck, this could well be the day I make the biggest deal of my career, and you will not mess it up. Well, what says to them that he would... Oh, at least he's not under the stairs anymore. That's fabulous. <laughs> Harry Potter. Who the fuck is that? Such an honour it is. Who are you, doll? Who are you? Thank you. Dobby the house elf. Oh, I think I've heard Dobby. People, t people like him, right? Why don't you sit down? Dobby, oh! shush, I'm sorry. Never has he been asked to sit down by a wizard like an equal. Oh! So he was crying from happiness because he's, he's never been shown. Oh! Bad Dobby! Dobby? What the fuck? Oh! Stop! Bad Dobby! Dobby. Bad Dobby! Dobby. Oh! Self harm! Dobby, calm your fucking tits, babe! Oh, he's never been shown kindness like that from another wizard. My heart. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry this year. Uh, why? I've got things to learn, babes. There is a plot. A plot to make most terrible things happen. <gasps> oh, people are going to start coming for Harry. 
Because he's a prodigy. What terrible things? Who's plotting them? <laughs> oh, he's punishing himself. Guys, I don't like this. It's so self-deprecating, isn't he? Bless him, he's adorable though. Get in there and keep quiet. What the devil are you doing up here? <sighs> just ta just tackling a household elf, I am. <laughs> He's wanting to hurt himself. It's, it's a rough time. Dobby hoped if Harry Potter thought his friends had forgotten him, Harry Potter might not want to go back to school, sir. So Dobby's been taking all the letters. Give me those. Now. And those glasses have got no lenses in, let me tell you that. <laughs> None. No! <gasps> Oh, Dobby, this is not the time for games. It's really not, hun. I've had enough of playing games. Oh, and now he's going to want the fucking cake. And then the, the Dudleys are going to be really rude to the... Um, really nasty to him. Oh, what's he doing now? Dobby must do it, sir. For Harry Potter's own good. How is it for Harry Potter's own good? That's my question. I guess to get Harry in trouble and then they won't let him go back, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm guessing. That's the only, it's the only thing. Because they're going to think that Harry's doing it, aren't they? Yeah, because that looked like Harry did it, to be honest. In all fairness. It's my nephew. He's very disturbed. He's very disturbed. Dobby, you little troublemaker, you. They've put prison bars over his fucking bedroom. Okay, so Dobby got what he wanted, right. You're never gonna see those freaky friends of yours again. Never! Oh, this is curing me, this is, guys. Oh, there's not like a cup of tea when you got cold. I always feel so British when I hold a cup of tea, like, mm, like a little granny. Mm. Hiya, Harry. Ron. Ron Weasley? Fred. George. Ron. Fred. George. Crushed it. What are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Yeah, come on, you're a wizard. Fucking wave that wand and get those bars gone. Oh, I'll use brute force, I guess. <laughs> Who took off the whole fucking window pane? Petunia is escaping! Fuck you, Petunia! Let go of me! Oh no! You and that bloody pigeon aren't going anywhere! Pigeon? It clearly doesn't know the species of birds either. God, he's thick. <laughs> oh, I hope he broke his back. I do. We're gonna be in danger there too. But I mean, at least at Hogwarts, he's got his friends and they'll help him stay safe. There is just miserable and miserable, isn't he? Hi. <laughs> Me from the future is coming to talk to you about today's sponsor, and that is Atlas VPN. Once again, they're sponsoring another video simply because you guys really took advantage of the deal the first time. So I'm here to talk to you about it again. So what a VPN is, is it basically allows you to teleport essentially, and use your devices all over the world for like streaming services and such. Oh, back over there. And what I mean by that is it basically allows you to unlock all your favorite content from around the world while staying put wherever you're situated. So for example, I'm in the UK. Um, during the first sponsorship, I did mention to you guys that I was gonna watch that bad guys. Watched it, right? Used Atlas VPN to do so. Very good movie, highly recommend. Okay, so it basically allows you to travel wherever you want in the world and access Netflix, other streaming services like HBO Max, stuff like that. And it becomes very handy when you're, when you're a movie buff like I am and just like we work through Netflix like it's bloody late night television, right? It's able to do this while keeping all of your searches private and whilst you're doing your thing, surfing the web, you know, safely, right? It also blocks any like dodgy links, trackers, ads, like annoying ads that always pop up, blocks all those, and it even notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data so we can shut that and nip that in the bud, okay? It also helps you get the best deals when you're also shopping online and on your subscription services like Netflix, Spotify, which realistically most people use these days. So it's very, very handy. And another benefit is that you only need one subscription to cover 
all of your devices, right? Here comes the best part, the bloody deal. Guys, you're not ready for this. You're able to get Atlas VPN for three years at only $1.70 a month. That roughly equates to like £1.20, £1.40 or something, I should imagine in like UK money for my UK huns, right? That's a whopping 85% off, which is absolutely wild. So definitely check it out for that reason. On top of that, you get six months free and there's a 30 day money back guarantee just in case it's not for you, but it definitely will be, okay? So check it out. The link will be in the, in the description below. Do, do the damn thing. I use it, I've, I've got my parents on it, right? It's, it, guys, it's so good, and I won't be talking to you about it if it wasn't. So, check out, link in the description, and yeah, thanks Atlas VPN for sponsoring this vid. Oh, see, that's what I'd do with my magic, right there. I mean, I've got a dishwasher, do you know what I mean? How much lazier can I be? Where have you been? Hi, doll. See, she's much more my speed. Mummy, have you seen my jumper? Yes, it was on the cat. Hello. What's up with her? What did I do? Ginny, she's been talking about your summer. She's obsessed, is she? I'm a celebrity, what can I say? Uh, house is a, a, a household name, yeah, he is. Mmm, I love pretzels. There's only one place we're gonna get all of this. Diagon Alley. Oh, big sleigh. Wait, you like big sleigh? Yeah, big sleigh. Diagon Alley. Oh, fuck me up. Don't forget to speak very, very clearly. Diagonally. He didn't say it right, though, did he? What did he say, dear? Diagonally. <laughs> Did he go to the right place? Diagonally! <laughs> I mean, make it better, better word, better name, do you know what I mean? Diagon Alley! No, please. Harry! Hagrid! Hagrid! What do you think you're doing down here? I got lost, babe, said the wrong thing. Hermione! Looks like she's found a fucking brush and a, even a curling wand. Mum fences here. Why do I feel like it's gonna be a tosser? It gives toss pot, doesn't it? It can't be Harry Potter. It is. Oh, it is, babes. It fucking is. Me, Harry Potter. What's his fucking name? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go to a bookshop without making the front page. Ooh, <laughs> Draco, play nicely. Draco, who the fuck is he? Mr. Potter. He's kind of sexy. Oh! Lucius Malfoy. Oh, is it his dad? He's kind of sexy. I'd have to shave that hair off, but... Miss Granger, Draco's told me all about you. I feel like Draco's just bitter, isn't he? Draco's a little bit, bit, bit. <laughs> See you at school. Oh, punch him or like poke him in the eye with a wand or something. Fuck it now. 10.58, come on, come on. Train will be leaving any moment. Are they, are they gonna miss the train? Yes. What the fuck? I feel sorry for the owl. Did you see that? Eleven o'clock. We've missed it. Oh, shitty, shitty, shitty. <laughs> Hold the fuck up! <laughs> now all we need to do is catch up with the train. We can't be far behind. Come on, get out, dickheads! Ronald, can we get control of this fucking vehicle? Jesus Christ! Ah, ah. It's not working! It's like fucking... <laughs> ha ha ha! Find that tree! Oh, fucking 
fucking hell. That owl, man. Clearly someone doesn't want me here this year. You were seen by no less than seven muggles. I had to get here some way, somehow, babes. Do you have any idea how serious this is? His bob's still looking rough, isn't it? Today, we're going to re-pop mandrakes. Ooh. Mandrake, or mandragora, is used to return those who've been petrified to their original state. Okay. It's also quite dangerous. The mandrake's cry is fatal to- I mean, she didn't ask all that, did she? Excellent. Ten points to Gryffindor. Oh, maybe she did. <laughs> Grasp your mandrake firmly. You pull it sharp <laughs> out of the pot. Grasp it firm and pull it, hey? Say it. I'm doomed. Can they not Oculus repair of that shit? Wando repair -o. And five times winner of which... Not him winking at himself, that's weird. Most charming cloud. Y'all, he's not that fit. Why are you all swooning? <laughs> oh my god, a centaur! They're sexy. Where do you think you're going, Flint? You've got a new seeker. Who? Oh, for God's sake. Of course it's fucking Draco, in it. Those are numbers 2001s. How did you get those? A gift from Draco's father. God, he really needs to get some braces on those teeth, don't he? Fucking hell. Now, I'm not one to judge about fucked up teeth because, I mean, got a few myself. But, Jesus Christ. So I haven't found any toner for that hair either. You filthy little mud blood. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> You'll pay for that one, Malfoy. Eat slugs! You okay, Ron? Oh, he's not gonna be eating slugs, is he? Oh, I can't handle that. Oh, keep them in, you go. Keep them in. I don't need to see the slugs. Oh, no, I don't need this. Not on my screen. Not on my watch. That's disgusting. Uh, let's take him to Hagrid. Oh, um, no. Oh, this is disgusting. Call me a mudblood. He did not. What's a mudblood? Mudblood's a really foul name for someone who's muggle-born. I, I... There's some wizards, like the Malfoy family, who think they're better than everyone else because they're what people call pure blood. So, I'm assuming... Oh, I don't need it. I'm assuming the pure bloods are parents that are both magical, I guess? More to the point, they've yet to think of a spell that our Hermione can't do. Exactly. Hermione can run fucking rings around Draco. Fucking try me. Hermione, you're better than half these people. You could probably even challenge Harry, to be honest. I'm yet to see Harry get them out of all these scrapes. Fame is a fickle friend, Harry. Celebrity is as celebrity does. Arrogant. <laughs> I'm assuming this is no-nos, right? Because his spirit, his essence escaped, innit? It's moving. He's going to kill her. That's concerning. What's that? The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Well, shit. The Chamber of Secrets. The title of the movie. Well, I'll be. It's Vulture's cat. Oh, no. The cat's been fucking killed. It's the cat's blood. Oh, now that's just fucking disgusting and brutal and unfair. What's the cat ever done? She's not dead, Argus. She has been petrified. Oh, not dead. Not dead, okay. Well, Madam Sprout has a very healthy growth of mandrakes. A mature a portion will be made which will revive Mrs. Norris. Oh, yay. I was wondering if you could tell us about the Chamber of Secrets. Yes, please. I very well. Okay, so this was extremely long-winded. I'm going to just break it all down for you, hopefully quickly, right? Basically, Hogwarts was founded by four people, right? Hufflepuff, Slytherin, Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw, right? They're the four main ones. That's why they're called that, right? Slytherin, Salazar Slytherin, decided that he wanted to be more selective about who could do magic and wanted it just to be purebloods, i.e. no... no... Um, mudbloods like Hermione, etc. Right? So he made this Chamber of Secrets and like 
apparently it had something horrible inside that only the heir to the first ever Slytherin could open and unleash, and that thing is meant to kill all the people that aren't purebloods. Make sense? Great. It is said to be the home of a monster. Why do I feel like it's like, because it was like kind of created by Slytherin, why do I feel like it's gonna have something to do with like, Draco's dad, Draco, like the Malfoys, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like he's been brought into this movie for a reason. Training for the ballet, Potter! Excuse me, you fucking whore! Do not come for ballet! <laughs> Don't even start with me, sir, right? You'll never catch me, Potter! I hope he dies. Hello! Harry Potter should have gone back home when he missed the train. It was you. Dobby is tampering. But I feel like he's got his best interest at heart, so you know what? I'm not going to be mad at him, because he's really fucking cute also. Why do you wear that thing, Dobby? Dobby can only be freed if his master presents him with clothes. Tell me, Dobby, when did this happen before? Who's doing it now? Dobby cannot say, sir. So you can tell me that I need to leave and bad things are going to happen, but you can't tell me why or who's doing it. The buck? Oh, what a fucking pussy hole. No one ever comes in here. Why? Moaning Myrtle. Who? Oh. oh. Hey, Queen. Who's Moaning Myrtle? She's a fucking ghost. ghost. I'm Moaning Myrtle. What a fucking name, hey? Moaning Myrtle. Who would ever talk about ugly, miserable, moping, moaning Myrtle? Oh god, she's self-deprecating self too. What is wrong with this movie? Everybody hates themselves. She's a little sensitive. Yeah, you don't fucking say. Moaning Myrtle. Can everybody see me? Can you all hear me? Unfortunately, yes. Excellent. For full details, see my published work. Is a fucking fake in here? Let's be, let's be real here. Wait, did you say fake? <laughs> it's not always cracked up to me, I know him. No, I don't want any of you youngsters to worry. You'll still have your potions master when I'm through with him. Never fear. Uh, he's winking at children. That's fucking weird if you ask me. Mm. So camp. I live. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Expelliarmus. Ha! Yes, Expelliarmus. <laughs> Perhaps it would be prudent to first teach the students to block. Expelliarmus. There's fucking hairs on this and they're black and white. This ain't my hair. One's at the ready. Scared Potter. Of you and that fucking disgusting hair, I'm alright. On the count of three. One. Two. Inverted that! That seems unfair. He said on the count of three, so that's in fact cheating, honey. Rick the Sempra! <laughs> Period, Pooh. I hope you bruise your coccyx. I said disarm only. Rig him around. <laughs> oh, fuck that. He's made a snake. Great. How original, hey? Volate ascendere! See? He's shit. He doesn't know what he's fucking doing. He's got no idea. What we doing? Babes, what we doing? Harry, what we doing? You're a parcel mouth. Why don't you tell us? I spoke a different language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How can I speak a language without knowing I can? That's why I think he's like he's connected to something something dark, I feel like. And I wonder if it's no no's because of this. Do you know what I mean? Salazar Slytherin was a parcel mouth. Salazar was a parcel mouth. Parcel mouth. 
Oh, now the whole school's gonna think you're his great 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 grandson or something. But I'm not. I feel like someone was speaking through Harry then. Like this voice that he's been hearing maybe. I don't know. I don't know. What the fuck is that? Is that a phoenix? Oh my god it is! Why? Is it? What the fuck? Yeah, Rose from the Ashes. It's a phoenix. Wow! They can carry immensely heavy loads. They have tears of healing powers. Wow! The tears of healing powers. Wow! I want a phoenix. Turn the tats off, boys. Come on. Can we please turn the taps off? Like, this is such a waste of water. And with the cost of living crisis we're living in, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, sickening. Is it gonna let him see it now? Hello, Harry Potter, my name is Tom Riddle. Fucking hell, it talks back! The book talks back! Of course he fucking does. Of course. Let me take you back 50 years ago. All right. Oh, well, shit, he's actually gone into the book. That's not going to be good for us in the long run, is it? Excuse me, could you tell me what's going on here? Oh, look at how pretty his face is. Wow. If the person responsible was caught, is there something? You wish to tell me? No, sir. I'm not sure if I believe you, Tom, to be honest. Nothing. You're unbelievable. I'm going to have to turn you in, Hagrid. I don't think you meant it to kill anyone, but... You can't. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hyragog never killed no one. Never. What? See some <laughs> What is it? A fucking tarantula! <laughs> Arania Excellent! <laughs> oh yeah, you can piss off. I'm with Tom on this one. Kill, kill that, kill that spider. He'll be expelled. Hagrid! Well, he didn't kill him, sis. He's still alive, isn't he? So Hagrid's got a pet spider. Huh? I warn you, this could be a wee bit of a shock. What? Is it Hermione? <gasps> Hermione's been fucking petrified. <clears throat> oh no. <coughs> Mud blood though, isn't she? Oh, harmonica, babes. Well, they're all gonna come back alive. We all know this, because ha Harmony doesn't die, does she? It is likely the school will be closed. Fuck. I still think it's something to do with Draco Malfoy's um, father. I do. Sicily, what's his name? I think it's time to get my dad's old cloak out again. Ah, uh, we're getting invisible. Hagrid, we've got some interrogating to do, babes. Population, you. Hello? What's that for? It doesn't matter. Come on in. It does matter. Hagrid, you're being shifty, my pal. You really are. Do you know who's opened the Chamber of Secrets? What you had to understand about that is... <laughs> Quick, under the cloak. Oh, who is it? Who is it? Professor Dumbledore, sir. I want it understood, Cornelius. That Hagrid has my full confidence. Hagrid's record is against him. I've got to take it. Take me where? Not Azkaban prison. Fucking typical. How you doing? I'm telling you, he's something to do with it, isn't he? The other governors and I have decided it's time for you to step aside. The fuck? Now they're trying to overthrow Dumbledore? This is an order of suspension. Eh? Who gives you the 
the right. Take him away and the Muggleborns won't stand a chance. You mark my words, there'll be killings next. What well, if that's what he wants? If anybody was looking for some stuff, then all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. Oh, were those spiders leading to the big fucker? Maybe they're the baby spiders from the big one. Harry, I don't like this. I've not been liking it. I, don't, I really don't need to see another spider and I've got a feeling it's gonna be huge because it was big 50 years ago. And that many babies don't come from no small hole, do they? It takes a gape. <laughs> Who is it? I could ask you the same fucking question. Fuck off! Nah! I can see why some of you guys said you were scared as a young child. You're Aragog, aren't you? Aragog? Hagrid never opened the Chamber of Secrets. Shush. Ron, Ronald, I bet they smell fear, so calm the fuck down. Then what did kill that girl 50 years ago? It is an ancient creature we spiders fear. Well, we, well, we need to fucking know, because it's back and it's petrifying people. The girl was discovered in a bathroom when I was accused. Moaning Myrtle. So it's got something to do with it's got something to do with Myrtle. But like we're, we're speaking to the big daddy, surely they're not gonna come for us. We'll just go. I think not. I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly. Oh my god! What the fuck? I guess I guess I should have known not to trust it. It's a fucking spider! Oh! <laughs> That is that so is scary. scary. Oh, that is, oh, that is, oh, I know. That is so Rania Eczema. Sounds like eczema, doesn't it? Glad we're out of there. Uh, they're going to be coming for us. Ah! Oh, fuck, why did you not find the windows up? Or are they smashed? Thanks for that. Don't mention it. Oh, fuck off. Are they all coming for us? Ah! Guys, let's get revving! Come on, it's a magical car! Please, and thank you. Well, now they're gonna definitely be discovered, aren't they, for being out when they've had a fucking curfew. They've not got their invisibility cloak, they've just made a load of noise, and there's tire tracks in a random magical car in the middle of nowhere. They're fucked. I mean, what was the point of sending us in there? What have we found out? We know one thing. Hagrid didn't open the Chamber of Secrets. He was innocent. Well, I never questioned it, personally. I never questioned Hagrid one bit, right? For the record. I'm telling you, it's Sicily. <laughs> I've just decided that that's what I'm going to call him now because I don't know his fucking name. Wish you were here, Hermione. We need you. Yeah, you do. This is what I mean. She's slay. She's got something in her hand. Oh, I love, I love this shit. Mystery. None is more deadly than the basilisk. Instant death awaits any who meet this giant serpent's eye. Serpent's eye? I'm assuming it's some sort of snake. It's a snake. Yeah. Oh, God, okay. A basilisk. A basilisk. How's the basilisk been getting around? Hermione's answered that too. See what I mean? She's putting out fires everywhere, Hermione is. Fucking s s s slay! Our worst fear has been realised. A student has been taken by the monster. <laughs> Professor, we have some information for you. Are you going somewhere? Yes, he's a fraud. He's got no fucking idea. You're a fraud. You've just been taking credit for what other wizards have done. I've been telling you. I've been telling you this whole movie is a fraud and a trickster. I'm rather gifted with memory charms. Otherwise, you see, all those wizards would have gone blabbing. So he's going to do that to them, right? He's going to make them forget. Going to have to do the same to you. Don't even think about it. Absolutely. You fucking fraud. Wand down, you bitch. 
Oh, moaning bears will shut the fuck up and tell us what you know. Hello, Harry. Um, what do you want? Info, babes. Now. I heard somebody come in. Who was it, Myrtle? I don't know. I was distraught. <laughs> She's a great actress, I'm not gonna lie. She's kind of killing me. I just remember seeing a pair of great big yellow eyes. Oh, so it was the serpent, I'm assuming. I can't remember what it's called. The Basilisk. Oh god, I'm so good. Oh. Said, I think this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. The fucking sink. Harry, say something in parcel tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fabo. If you die down there, you're welcome to share my toilet. Moaning Myrtle's got the hops for Hazard. Any sign of movement, close your eyes straight away. Go on. Oh, I want a cloak. Like, imagine owning a cloak. Like, you'd feel like such a powerful bastard, wouldn't you? Just whaffing it around. Yep, so shocking to no one, the prick did decide to try and double cross them and make them forget. But I look crusty. But it literally backfired on him, so there we go. Wow, okay, okay, budget. I'll tell you what, guys, I think I'm gonna be a, a Harry Potter stan, to be honest. Oh, there she is, the damsel in distress. Why is he throwing his wand? Why, why would you throw your wand down? What was the need? What was the use? What was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? reason. What was the reason? reason? Wake up, wake up. Please wake up. That's rough. That's Tom Riddle. Hey, how is this still alive? She won't wake. <gasps> I'm back! <laughs> He's sexy, I'm sorry. He's a beautiful human being. Are you a ghost? A memory, preserved in a diary for 50 years. He is gorgeous! Tom Riddle! Come see me sometime. Get off me fucking wand! Why has he got his wand? Give me my wand, Tom. You won't be needing it. Uh, why? As poor Ginny grows weaker. I grow stronger. Tom, Tom's a bitch. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. I find I can be very persuasive. So, oh, so Tom framed Thingamajiggy, Hagrid, because it was him. But why did you want to meet me? I knew I had to talk to you. Tom is so sexy, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. I cannot help. I cannot help but be captivated by the beauty. And don't get me wrong, he's a twat head, right? He's an absolute dick, but ooh. I decided to leave behind a diary, preserving my 16-year-old self in its pages. Oh, he's 16. I take that back. I take that fucking back. Killing my bloods doesn't matter to me anymore. For many months now, my new target. You? Has been you. Stunning. We went fucking Harry Potter, how original. Everyone wants a bit of fucking Harry Potter, don't they? Voldemort is my past, present, and future. Oh, Tom Riddle is Valdi. I am Lord Voldemort, right. It was an acronym, so Tom Riddle is Voldemort. Wow. God, this is kind of gaggy. Oh, Phoenix, let's go. Phoenix, baby. I fucking love a phoenix, they are so majestic and cool. Now that's one bird I can get behind. Snakey! Parcel tongue won't save you now, Potter. It only obeys me. I was in pure shock. That is a scary snake. Oh my god. We've got a fucking phoenix fighting a, six, a 60 foot long snake. Your bird may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. It's blinded it! Ah! <laughs> ah! That was so scary, oh my god, yeah. I understand why you guys would be scared. Mm -hmm. Oh! in 
the hat? Is it a sword? Oh, fabulous. Slay the beast. Chop off his head. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh, and we got a tooth. Oh, we got a tooth while we're at it. Fucking hell. Hey, Flop. God, I bet this was a great movie in 3D. Like, imagine this in the cinema. 3D glasses on that fucking thing coming towards you. Jesus, you'd jump out of skin. You'll be with your dear mudblood mother soon, Harry. So is that the same thing that's happened to Ginny, I'm assuming? Venom. Oh no, she, she looked at it in the eyes, right? It had weird eyes. But that's what Petra... You know what? Questions about questions. What are you doing? Destroying the book? Destroying the book destroys Tom. Stop. No! Tom, you thick bitch. Why would you not be prepared for that? Why would you have not taken that book from Ginny before now? <laughs> That was stupid on Tom's part. It really was. Oh, fabulous, and that reversed whatever was going off with Ginny. You need to get yourself out. Oh, his tears have got healing powers. Oh, slay. Heal me, baby. Oh, thank you so much, Phoenix. I didn't even know birds could cry. You both receive special awards for services to the school. Absolutely, because otherwise you'd be fucking closed, wouldn't you? Yeah, I know that's right. Bitch. <laughs> I gave you that scar. Voldemort transferred some of his powers to me. Boots and tea, that's what I say. That is incredible. That really gives us the upper hand, doesn't it? Thanks, Voldy. Dobby, so this is your master. The family you serve as the Malfoys. I'll deal with you later. Oh, no wonder Dobby fucking hates himself. He's got a master that's like that. It's true. You have returned. Curiously, Lucius. Lucius. <laughs> Lucius. Several of them were under the impression that you would cast their families if they did not agree to suspend me in the first place. <gasps> So Lucius threatened the other governors and that's why they agreed to vote him out. The culprit has been identified, I presume. Voldemort, by means of this. Whoa, I'm confused what's going on. The consequences for the one responsible would be severe. Who's betting it was him? Yeah, I, I get what they're throwing. Dumbledore. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, I'm not dealing with this. Dobby better be free soon. Next movie, I'm telling you now. Could it be called Harry Potter and the Freedom of Dobby, please? Because for fuck's sake. You slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. Oh, yes, 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 yes! Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is... Dobby anyway. You shall not harm Harry Potter. <laughs> Dobby's powerful. Okay. Yes, Dobster. Oh, I'm I'm here for this. Oh, what lovely friends. Saved a fucking life, didn't they? But I still think Hermione's the brains, so do. If it wasn't for her leaving them that note that says pipes. Right? Sorry I'm late. I'm not sure why we're applauding, but I'm into it. <laughs> Directed by Chris Columbus. Ooh, great, great job to be honest. Guys, that was a brilliant one. And you guys have said they only keep getting better. And already, like, from the second, 
No, from the first to the second, like drastic changes. Yo, me again, just popping in just to tell you once more about Atlas VPN's Christmas deal. You get Atlas VPN for three years, $1.70, around £1.20, £1.40 if you're in the UK, six months free, and a 30 day money back guarantee. Check it out, link in the description. Woo! Thanks, Atlas. Thank you, Hans. Like, the CGI was way better. Like, that snake was fucking scary. <laughs> the, like, the spiders, fucking scary. So, yeah, I'm excited to continue on this journey, to be honest, and hopefully, you guys. We'll be here for the whole thing. If you if you're only seeing this video, like this is your first video for the promo that you're seeing, make sure to subscribe. Um, I post very regular, so you're never without content. Because guys, I will say, some YouTubers are really slacking. Not to not to call out anybody, but I tell you what, there's not much YouTube about these days. I got my subscriptions, and I'm like, fucking hell, where is it? But you know what? Don't want to speak out of school. Anyway. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna make this really short because I, I know it's gonna have, have been a long video. Um, I loved it. I, th I think I'm a stan. Yeah, what can we comment? Ooh, I've got it. Comment down below how many years we've stored. <laughs> if you made it to this point. Um, and as usual, love you guys lots and I will see you soon with another vid. Bye.